Sometimes it's easy to be authentic when you're doing something you love. Take, for example, my friend Patrick. I met Patrick dancing tango in Washington, D.C. And on the dance floor, Patrick is the life of the party. He's charming, he's funny, he's playful. Everyone wants to dance tango with Patrick. In his day job, he worked in real estate development. And one day, he asked for my help preparing for a high-stakes presentation to a community group. And I thought, this is going to be easy. Tango Patrick is just going to knock the socks off of them. So I go to his office, and I sit down in one of those fancy leather chairs, and I lean back, and I wait for Tango Patrick to regale me. And he stands up, and he walks to the front of the room, and he transforms, but not in a good way. He goes, behind me we have the schematics of what the project's going to look like, and there's the timeline. Any questions? And Patrick was afraid he was a boring speaker. And I'm not going to lie. Patrick was a boring speaker. So I asked him about his life and his career, and I asked him, why did he care about his work? And it turns out, he didn't. He hated his job. He hated his boss. He didn't like his industry. We realized Patrick wasn't a boring speaker. He was just bored. And if you're bored with what you're talking about, you will be a boring speaker. That realization changed his life. He wound up leaving that job and pursuing his dream to revitalize an abandoned building in Washington, DC. Can anyone think of someone they know like Patrick? Sometimes it's easy to be authentic when we're doing something we love. Sometimes it takes a little bit more work to find that authenticity. And for the past 20 years, I've worked with executives and world leaders on their communication skills. And what I've seen firsthand is that how you communicate is how you lead. The way in which you speak is what mobilizes others to achieve a shared vision. Whether you're leading four people, 40, or just yourself. Each one of us needs communication skills in order to build our ability to make an impact.